my name is uh, Engineer Professor Sifila Wanjiko Bomenya. Mm -hmm. I am an Associate Professor at the Faculty of Engineering, University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, my area of expertise is in um, uh, building structures, mm -hmm. the design, and uh, specifically in cement-based materials. And I have been um, at the University of Nairobi, Department of Civil and Construction Engineering, mm -hmm. since 1996. So I've been here doing the teaching and the research mm -hmm. work, which is what a university mainly does. Mm -hmm. And right now I am in the office of the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering. Mm -hmm. And here we uh, coordinate the academic and administrative function of mm -hmm. the faculty. Mm -hmm. um, I, did, I took office recently, so I'm in the process of induction. And uh, so far, so good. I'm looking forward to serving the university in this capacity mm -hmm. as the dean. You know, engineering is. Um, it's, it's, it's a very applied science mm -hmm. career. Mm -hmm. And therefore, one needs to have had a passion for the science subjects, specifically mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Mm -hmm. And um, when I went to high school, um, I think what inspired me to like those subjects were the teachers. Mm -hmm. Um, my mathematics teacher was, I still remember, a young, very, she looked young, now when I look back, lady, Indian lady, mm -hmm. and the way she used to carry herself around mm -hmm. was very admirable. She was very neat, very smart. Mm -hmm. She looked like she knew mathematics, and she also used to teach us physics. Mm -hmm. So you see now, with physics and chemistry, Mm -hmm. And here is somebody who looks quite young, so I don't think she could have been too much older than mm -hmm. us because we could relate very easily. Mm -hmm. I think that is what um, geared me to like the subject. And the secret of excelling in a subject is liking it. Mm -hmm. And then the same case applied to the other science subjects. Like chemistry, I found it very fascinating to go to the lab and do experiment and mix chemicals and you come with something different. Mm -hmm. So I think it was the way the, the, the subjects were taught mm -hmm. that made, wa made me feel wanting to learn more. Mm -hmm. And now, liking the subjects, feeling connected with the... Um, with the teachers really made it very easy mm -hmm. for one to excel. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it came from home. I came from a very, also very well educated. My parents were very well educated mm -hmm. and they were also quite um, influential. But I still remember the direction that uh, they tended to push was more into medicine. Okay. And I, I did very well. I still remember I did also did very well in biology. Mm -hmm. So I had a choice actually when I went for my A levels. Everybody thought I would do, I went to a school where you could choose. Mm -hmm. But again, I still felt, you know, from my experience, I felt that between mathematics, because I either was going to drop mathematics mm -hmm. and pick biology. Mm -hmm. But from my experience, between mathematics and biology, mm -hmm. I knew mathematics was easier. Imagine, I knew mathematics was easier. And I also knew once you, you do well in mathematics, mm -hmm. mathematics has a kind of a magic of pulling the other grades along. If you do well in mathematics, you are more likely mm -hmm. to also do well in other subjects. Mm -hmm. So I discovered that there's something in mathematics that helps you to, 
to also be able to decode the other subjects. Unlike biology, mm. biology is more of a standalone, and then again the others are. But mathematics, if you look at the students who do well in mathematics, they also do well in all the other. Mm. subjects. It's unlikely to do well in mathematics and not do well in others. Mm. And therefore, having said that, um, I ended up now doing the extremely well in mathematics and not putting too much effort because it was, mathematics is more of logic. Mm. You, didn't, you don't need to clamp, but it has something once you understand the fundamental principles then it's easy to just get along and then you have time for other subjects. Mm -hmm. Then you are able to do other subjects very well. And therefore, after then A-levels, these days they don't do A-levels, but mm -hmm. you used to do A-levels. Mm -hmm. After A-levels, then you are completely channeled. You knew if you are doing maths, physics, chemistry, you are either engineering or, you know, pure sciences. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you have a biology and the others, medicine and so on. So I knew mm -hmm. for a certain I've, I was going for one of the engineering. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I, it was not too difficult to uh, get admission to mm -hmm. the I actually came to the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I was admitted to do civil engineer. It, that was, at that time, it was the most competitive you had to have straight A's, you know, like mm -hmm. four A's and yeah. things like those. Mm. So I got admitted and um, and then, you know, the journey now of engineering uh, mm -hmm. began. Mm -hmm. Yes, so from high school, now I found myself in college. I cannot teach some of the courses if you are not a professional uh, engineer. Mm -hmm. For example, designing. My mm -hmm. area is in the designing of structures, bridges, and so on. Mm -hmm. I cannot teach students how to do that mm -hmm. without me having been licensed. Mm -hmm. I have to have a license every year. Mm -hmm. I have a license even for this year mm -hmm. to practice as an engineer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when you teach, you also practice. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to use those consultancies because People outside can consult. Mm. We are allowed by the university to, to consult. I can go out and be a consultant. Mm -hmm. um, you are supposed to consult and teach and do research and so on. Mm -hmm. And using those consultancies, I've been able to mentor very many young people mm -hmm. who have actually gone out and become very senior mm -hmm. in the, you know, they are working. A lot of them are mm -hmm. now maybe directors in roads, uh, housing. The other day I met uh, one of my students is actually the, 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 the almost like a PS, you know? Mm -hmm. And they, they they say, oh, you know, you taught me and mm -hmm. I was able to, you mentored me. Mm -hmm. That's a major accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what keeps us psyched at mm -hmm. the university because you start with young people, some of them, we see them coming very timid, first years. Mm -hmm. Then you see them growing up, graduating. Mm -hmm. They ask you to recommend them. They go, they do the work, they get registered. Mm -hmm. They become senior. They really become great mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. So that is a major accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And being able to, to balance those two mm -hmm. for me, because um, there is something we used to be taught in our trainings when we were a bit younger. We were being told that women are not able to manage success. Mm. So we were being told, you know, that's why you find some uh, deciding, no, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. Because when you are very successful, maybe the husband starts yeah. feeling intimidated mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. So that was something that one I had to to be very careful mm -hmm. because between the two, actually, I would rather have a family. Mm. Uh, but I have been able to have a steady family, very supportive, and also a career. Mm -hmm. And they look up and say, oh, my goodness, you know, I think mm -hmm. I would also want to. Like yeah, you. so I think it's nice. Eh? Mm -hmm.
mm-hmm. at first they mm-hmm. when they went to university mm-hmm. they did the um, the medical part mm-hmm. uh, uh, and when i asked them mm-hmm. why you know how come one did the the father is a dentist and mm-hmm. one the first one did dentistry mm-hmm. the other one did surgery mm-hmm. and uh, when i asked them why didn't you even think about um, uh, engineering? Mm. Then one of them told me, you know, by the way, we, are you even a professional? I mean, are you a professional? I mm. said, you don't see me as a... No, I thought you are just there to support us, to come for our prize. Mm. You mean you have a career? He was actually very shocked. Mm-hmm. When he realized that I'm able to do that and completely, you know, I go yeah, pick mother. them from school. Mm. I am the one who does the supervision of the... So I said, mom, I didn't know that you also, during the day when you're in school, you also have a career. Mm-hmm. It really challenged him. He said, you know what, mom? I will marry an engineer. Oh. And he did. Mm-hmm. Yes, so mm-hmm. he married an engineer and mm-hmm. there we are. Mm-hmm. So at least we have... Um, we have mm-hmm. an engineer, mm-hmm. but it's because they said that they never saw. They didn't know. They just thought mom is just there. Mm-hmm. You go home. Mm-hmm. You are seated there. You supervise the homework. Mm-hmm. After that, you drop them to school. You are there for mm-hmm. their praise giving days. Mm-hmm. But uh, the father, they you know, he's not available. I'm in hospital. I'm doing this. He comes with, you know. Mm-hmm. So they thought maybe that's the profession. The profession kind yeah, of. because the engineering, either you are designing mm-hmm. or either preparing for, you know, lessons mm-hmm. or you are drawing something mm-hmm. or you go to site, mm-hmm. which they may not come with mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. So women, sometimes we, are, we hide behind, mm-hmm. we, are, we, we, are, we are obscured. Our mm-hmm. career is not the one that mm-hmm. people see when they come home. Mm-hmm. But for men, everybody knows. Mm-hmm. That this is what I do, and so on. Yeah. Even if there are parties, they are they they, they are work related, mm-hmm. or I'm not able to come because I'm going to work. Yeah. But mommy is always there. Yeah, so they think no... your mom has nothing else other than taking care of us. Mm-hmm. So that is what I experienced. Mm-hmm. The dean position is the only position at the university that is elective. Mm-hmm. Everything else you are appointed. Mm-hmm. The chairman is appointed. All these, all the other positions are appointed. Mm-hmm. And uh, when the dean position, okay, we, I, I've never even thought, actually, mm-hmm. to be honest. I never thought, neither was I even interested. Mm-hmm. I was very happy to just go to class, mm-hmm. teach. Uh, I have been a chair before. Mm-hmm. And... Um, May, you know, when you are chair, then you expected maybe the next thing you go for dean. Mm-hmm. So for us, some of us, you just say, oh, I've been a chair. At least I've experienced a demean work at the university. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to teach. And, you know, it's not, it, it's the usual we've been doing it. Mm-hmm. And then um, when the dean position, when the position is normally declared vacant, Mm-hmm. I didn't even know actually I did I was not following. Mm-hmm. Then um one of the colleagues uh, because uh, you know you interact with people they said oh and by the way you know you should consider. Mm-hmm. I said no 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 I you know I I I think I just want to continue with my teaching I'm happy mm-hmm. I want to maybe even write a book mm-hmm. there's a book I am still writing. Mm-hmm. I hope I'll be able to finish. No, no, no. I just want to write, do my research, be happy, and uh, mm-hmm. no bothers. Mm-hmm. Then um, somebody else and another one. Then I, you know, when somebody keeps saying, no, 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 think about it, sleep over it. Mm-hmm. That was around maybe February, not mm-hmm. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Because the dean's tenure was, I think, perhaps in May. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and then they said, no, 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 you, I think you are qualified and so on. So um, then I decided, maybe let me ask. So I asked a friend. Then I decided to even ask my husband. Because that, those are the people, that's the person I know. If he says, uh, forget it, then you know. You do it. 
mm. you, you if you go ahead then mm. you have issues eh? mm. because you not support if you mm. are work late or you are traveling or something you say i told you you can't do it mm -hmm. so when i told him he said why not you know huh? mm. why not mm -hmm. then i said no because it you know it's a political thing mm -hmm. and politics is a dirty game mm -hmm. and i don't want to keep shouting and telling people and talking to people mm -hmm. he said what's wrong with that it's an experience even if you don't go through you have experience mm -hmm. you have had a you know a platform of experiencing mm -hmm. how to campaign mm -hmm. and he even threw for me some some cash he said if you don't have money for campaign Mm -hmm. Check your Mpesa. Mm -hmm. I thought he was joking. Then all the time he was telling me, "You should. Are you? How is your campaign going?" Then I knew this to be serious. Mm -hmm. Then that's when now I said, "No, baby, let me pray about it." Mm -hmm. And it was very clear mm -hmm. that there are two things: mm -hmm. either you go through, which is okay, or if you don't go through, you have experience. Mm -hmm. And then well, that's when now, when it was fully declared, now it became a serious matter. We have to go through the entire, once you have started, mm -hmm. you cannot really declare mm -hmm. that you are interested in something mm -hmm. and then chicken out. Mm -hmm. You are not being a good role model. Mm -hmm. So I was told the minute you declare into your somebody, that and you get the nomination for mm. you better be serious because the young people are looking we have mm. very young uh ladies called tutorial fellows who are looking up you know they, they are hoping you know they are beginning of their career mm. they want to do their phd they want to do their masters they want to wherever they are looking up so i realized this position is not for myself Mm -hmm. It is for others to mm -hmm. see it's mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that's where I, I knew this is now a very serious matter. Mm -hmm. It was a very tight um, uh, election. We had a very short time mm -hmm. to campaign. So it was a very, very tightly contested. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, the I had a very supportive team mm. who really believed like that particular one. Yeah, they are yeah. almost like the ones who were campaigning. Yeah, because he called me, he was like, yeah. she is going to get it. <laughs> yes, she is. they were very yeah. sure mm -hmm. and they really supported and I also did whatever I could mm -hmm. and uh, we were subjected to very strict rules where mm -hmm. we had to be very professional it was mm. not pass. We agreed not personal. Mm. Just market yourself how you are. Mm. Leave the other person to market themselves. So it was not dirty as such. Uh, so after the and it was very tight, you know, mm -hmm. extremely tight. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it was announced, I I I I wasn't even sure whether it was true. Mm. Then I was told, yeah, even if you know now you have to to wait mm -hmm. the th whole thing now has to go through the processing the the council the mm -hmm. university council has to get the name to mm -hmm. pass it to senate the senate has to to approve, to it. approve it mm -hmm. and and so on mm -hmm. uh for me it's it's not a very uh would I, I okay it's it's a different office Mm. But there's not anything that is uh, too much out of the way because mm -hmm. it's it's um, a coordination office. Mm -hmm. uh, you coordinate the the five departments. We have five departments, mm -hmm. and the coordination there are two levels of coordination. Mm -hmm. We have the academic and we have the administrative. Mm -hmm. Uh, the academic is like now we are going through examinations. It's an examination season. And mm -hmm. examination is not just students writing. Mm -hmm. So at the lecturer level, we leave it at that. We, they write, we mark, we give the chairman. Mm -hmm. Now, here, you make sure that the, the process has been done. Mm -hmm. the, all the marks have been uh, compiled. External examiners have come from wherever. They have been accommodated, like they are either 
uh, Boulevard or Radiant Towers, mm -hmm. and we have a system. You know, mm -hmm. there's an existing system. Mm -hmm. So the dean just coordinates to make sure external examiners have come, mm -hmm. they have been uh, well accommodated, they have done that, the marks have arrived. Mm -hmm. Right now I have to make sure all the marks are there, departments have met, mm -hmm. and then you have a faculty, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, in the process there will be first years, admission, what's the admission criteria? Mm -hmm. we have we admitted? When is the orientation week? Have the supplementary exams? Mm -hmm. Who which is a graduating class? How many students are graduating? You know, uh, and and so on. That's the academic. Mm -hmm. Administrative is now making sure you link the you link now the faculty. Mm -hmm. What I do for myself, mm -hmm. unfortunately or fortunately, it's quite related to what I do. I'm a real estate developer. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I, I run um, a consultancy mm -hmm. firm, mm -hmm. and uh, I take care of my, I'm a lad lady also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, mm -hmm. um, I develop and I rent, I rent out. Mm -hmm. A bit of farming, mm -hmm. I have, I'm a coffee, small scale coffee farmer, mm -hmm. up country. Mm -hmm. And I also write, uh, write books. Mm -hmm. But these other things like cookery, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. one I never developed mm -hmm. too well. I can mm -hmm. cook well, but I do didn't say that's a hobby. Mm -hmm. Neither do I do golf. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I just walk, walking mm -hmm. for health, just mm -hmm. healthy walking. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I like writing. I like, you know, writing. Like I'm writing a book. Mm -hmm. And I also like a lot of um, innovations and, and, and being up to, up to speed with, mm -hmm. with, the, with the modern technology. Like I just started as my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I have a, a YouTube channel mm -hmm. so where you've joined yes, the Gen Z. Yes, so that uh -huh. I, I, I joined the Gen Z. Mm -hmm. And also um, the channel is on it's called Education Without Borders mm -hmm. uh, by Wanjiko the Engineer. Mm -hmm. That's where I save my educational things. Like if I go to site and I find a site is not has a challenge. Mm -hmm. Then I, 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 I save that and try to see how do you, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I decided to do that was because I realized there's a gap. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people, all of us would say we have these gadgets. Mm -hmm. And all of us at one, maybe a day, or you pass through either YouTube, Instagram, or whatever, WhatsApp, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. whether you are old or young. Mm. But I realized that a lot of stuff we get there, it's, it sometimes is not the best. Eh? So I have grandchildren, and when they come and pick my phone, mm -hmm. they know where the YouTube is. Mm. What is it that they are going to, to see? Mm. So that motivated me to say we need to start coming up with channels, educative, so that when somebody says they want to see, they have a choice mm. of something authentic, something you are not ashamed of. So they keep telling me they are still small, but they say, oh, we keep watching you on YouTube, mm. which is good because the stuff they are now, at least you know, mm -hmm. they, they are landing on some, something mm -hmm. authentic, mm -hmm. not but to see things you can't even want sometimes to, to look at with them. Mm -hmm. So it's also something to help me also connect mm -hmm. with the next generation and to show mm -hmm. also other people that you don't have to throw the baby with the uh, bath waters. Mm -hmm. You can still do something good mm -hmm. with the technology. A lot mm -hmm. can be done with the technology mm -hmm. as we also interact. Access, I would define it as a, not a destination. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a daily thing. Mm -hmm. Like um, my principal, every day when I wake up, I say, hey, today, you know, I help me today mm -hmm. to be able to do this to the best. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. So if I'm able to do this today mm -hmm. to the best of my ability, I'm mm -hmm. sure tomorrow will be even better. Mm -hmm. And also to be able to, uh, if you remember, I think it must have been maybe 15 years ago or so in the year 2000, during the new constitution is when we started this thing called performance contracting. Mm. I saw, you know, things like strategic planning and so on. When it came, we were taken through a lot of uh, that, even at the university. I remember 2015 is when we became ISO. Then I asked myself, wouldn't it be so good to have your own personal strategic plan? Mm. You say, in five years, I want to be here. In 10 years, I want to, and for me to be there, what are my strengths, weaknesses, the SWOT mm -hmm. analysis? Mm -hmm. And if you are able to have your own personal uh, strategic plan mm -hmm. where you cascade down and say, for me to get there, then to this year or this month, mm -hmm. I should have done this, that, mm -hmm. that. If you are able to define for yourself within your abilities that strategic mm -hmm. uh, plan and achieve it, even if it is for the first year, Mm -hmm. then that success because mm -hmm. it's you who has set it you mm -hmm. know your strengths you know your weaknesses threats mm -hmm. opportunities and when we are alive to that you'll be surprised mm -hmm. that you'll find yourself mm -hmm. you may not even realize other people will think you are successful mm -hmm. but for you you are just following your defined mm -hmm. SWOT analysis mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things that also helps me or has helped me a lot in looking at that at it that way is because my husband being a doctor also he also joined the army he was working for the armed forces hospital mm -hmm. and for them to be recruited they had to go through a very rigorous military training so he's a, a very strict military and he looks at everything from a military perspective. Mm. Like when I was <laughs> coming to this office, he told me, don't enter that office until you are handed over the instruments of power. Mm, Can you imagine? So I asked him, which are the instruments of power? Whatever it is, even if it's a file, mm. that's an instrument of power. Mm -hmm. Let somebody hand over mm. and let somebody hand you over the notes. Mm. It calls it handing over, taking over. And those notes, because I have them, in fact, I, they are even, I was even just looking at them. I insisted, mm -hmm. I want hard over report, a mm. detailed hard over report. Mm -hmm. Because this report mm. is my, the template. So he tells me what are the key dates. All the way, you can see, like, Monday I know what I will do. Mm. You see, I don't have to think too much. You yeah. tell me which are the key dates that I need to look at. Mm. That's Monday 22nd, that's August, that's up to the end. Mm. This is the template. Mm. So he told me, as for those handover notes, you'll find your life very easy. Mm -hmm. So to me, having strategies of how to make your life easier, mm. to me, is part of the success journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The advice I would give is uh, for somebody to, just as I have said, to look at what is it you want to, to be. Mm. Look at yourself like, um, like for example, I, I will tell you, the, 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 I will not, I, I'm here for three years. Mm. The tenure is three years. Mm. And uh, I had said by the time, I, and after this, I would just take my... So my my leave mm. and go. I had said that I would want to have, by the time I get out of university, I would have wanted to have my PhD. I would have wanted to be a professor. Uh, now I'm associate. I would want to be a full professor. You know, mm. by the time I leave, you see how it's tight. Eh? Mm. And there are certain conditions mm. that uh, require you to be a full professor. Mm -hmm. So you ask yourself, for example, what mm -hmm. is it? I should have done this. I should have supervised how many PhD students. Mm -hmm. I should have maybe written a proposal for funding and mm -hmm. attracted of this amount. 
to the university. So mm -hmm. because I know when I sit here, I'm strategic, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I would advise anybody who wants to, to progress to be strategic and very deliberate. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit and wait and just spend a lot of time complaining. Mm -hmm. Just be strategic. Mm -hmm. And when you are strategic, you'll be surprised at the opportunities that which are there. Mm -hmm. If you are strategic and you know, I want this because I am, I want, I'm aiming there. Mm -hmm. So when you work backwards, you say, today mm -hmm. I will do this because it's tomorrow it will lead me to that. that. Mm -hmm. So even as you do your work, you are strategic. Mm -hmm. And then you, you are able to mm -hmm. look back and say, your work was not in vain. If I were to, if you had asked me, I should have written. I, I still cannot believe that I've been here for this long. Mm -hmm. When How I joined university, uh -huh. I thought I would retire like maybe like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, you look and you, you see there is still, you know, you have a potential mm -hmm. and so on. And uh, what, 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 I would say is, mm. you see this office, the way it is, mm. my private office is better than this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I already have another running office, even better than this. And mm. I'm, I'm not bragging, but it's much, much better mm. than this. So even this one mm -hmm. is, I'm stooping a little. Mm. Because I already have another office, mm -hmm. which is running and waiting for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I have employed people mm -hmm. to do that, the consultancy. Mm -hmm. I have other things I do which keep me very busy. If I were to, if you had asked me, I should have written. I, I still cannot believe that I've been here for this long. Mm -hmm. When How I joined university, uh -huh. I thought I would retire like maybe like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, you look and you, you see there is still, you know, you have a potential mm -hmm. and so on. And uh, what, what, what I would say is, mm. you see this office, the way it is, mm. my private office is better than this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I already have another running office, even better than this. And mm. I'm, I'm not bragging, but it's much, much better mm. than this. So even this one mm -hmm. is, I'm stooping a little mm. because I already have another office mm -hmm. which is running and waiting for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I have employed people mm -hmm. to do that, the consultancy. Mm -hmm. I have other things I do which keep me very busy. Mm. But because I have learned to delegate, mm -hmm. I've been able to delegate and also to allow other people also to employ other people. Mm -hmm. They are, they are running the office mm. as, as I finish and, and, and when I retire, I'll just continue. Mm -hmm. So I have no, mm -mm. Yeah. this one is just to help me get, um, what would I say? A platform to also connect mm -hmm. because this is an office that you are able to really connect mm -hmm. even higher at mm -hmm. a higher level. Mm -hmm. Uh, using the office, you know, it's an office, yeah. it's not an, an individual. Mm. So it's also strategic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also you use it to improve your CV. Mm -hmm. Your CV, if you're looking for a job or something, mm -hmm. you say, yeah, you have this experience mm -hmm. and you're able to connect at a higher level mm -hmm. here than from a private uh, mm -hmm. place. So like now, if I say, like, I want an appointment mm -hmm. with Anybody the, in the ministry, even the, the, the PSs, the ministers, and mm. yeah, the office of the dean wants to, yeah, but mm. as an individual, it's very difficult. The good thing with the engineering is mm. not a manual thing, mm. because even if I'm at home, mm. you are still managing the mm. home, aren't you? Mm. So the same skills you use mm -hmm. are the same ones we use mm -hmm. to manage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are able to identify mm -hmm. who who is able to do this, mm -hmm. you are able to identify mm -hmm. who, because when you retire, the people who do, who sometimes retire, they say, I'm retiring to go and 
farm or yeah. something. Yeah. But farming is also not easy. Yeah. It's also not easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it also has its own challenges. Mm. So retiring is, to me, is changing mm. from one environment to another, which you have, you on your own, and mm-hmm. it is not a shock to me because I'm used to paying those taxes. You see the taxes we talk, even this morning mm. I paid. Mm. Because today is 19th, tomorrow there's a tax mm. that ought to have been paid. Mm-hmm. And it's not university mm-hmm. tax. Mm-hmm. So whether I have retired or not, that has to be that. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. to allow other systems to go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So retiring is when your body tells you now you can no longer. Mm. That's when now you obey your you body and you rest. Mm. And even then there are things you can you can do from that state. Mm. As I I I I I told you my parents were educated. My dad is ninety six and my mom is ninety three. Mm-hmm. My dad is still fortunately men are able when God blesses them they can be active. Women tend to be, you know. Mm. So they are not as mobile. Mm. But my dad is as act, more active than my brothers. Mm. He coordinates, he's able to go talk, he's a mentor, he's able to go to mm. the barazas, he's able to go to church and talk to the young people. He's mm. a, so you cannot say he has totally retired. He mm. has not. He also have slowed down. But he has not retired. Mm. So if I use my parents' example, mm. they are still very active. Mm. Yeah, he mm. coordinates because he used to have contacts abroad. He coordinates, you know, uh, with hospitals which are disposing their wheelchairs mm. to bring them over, and then he identify who in the village needs a wheelchair. You know. Mm. Whoever passes on, mm. the wheelchair is donated back, mm. and then somebody else. Mm. That's a job, mm. isn't it? Yeah. So if somebody like that can be active and every day he wakes up and finds something to do, mm. what about us who have been very, mm-hmm. the state has spent a lot of money mm-hmm. on us, training mm. us. You can't just say now, I'm going to just sleep, you know? Mm. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm in my 60s. Okay. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. I would say th- there are no, you know, sometimes you look back and say, if you are given another chance, mm-hmm. how would you have done differently? Mm-hmm. I think I've, whatever opportunity I've had, mm-hmm. I have taken full advantage. Mm-hmm. You're and satisfied. It, yes, that I have, mm-hmm. you know, whatever opportunity I've had mm-hmm. and I've put effort, at least I have done. Whatever I could have. Okay. Maybe not a hundred percent, but mm-hmm. even an seventy is an A. Yeah. And eighty is an A. So if you are there sixty-nine point eight, you round it to seventy years. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You t- yeah. I would say I did I have not wasted any opportunity that mm-hmm. uh, Came your God way. that God has given me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Career wise. And uh, I, I was telling some other young girls that, you know, they are very curious to ask, hey, and how come, you know, how did you get married? Mm. And so on and so forth. So I still remember when I was, uh, we used to get married very early. Mm. In those days, Masomo in Akuja Badai. So I remember when my boyfriend then proposed, mm. eh, the way we had been um uh, captured by our parents and grandparents mm. is that the default setting was no. You know? Yeah. You don't just, you don't, you know, no, 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 no. Mm. So I remember, of course, uh, I just said, no, I'm a career girl. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he just said, oh, all right. And away he walked and he actually disappeared for three months. Mm. Then I realized all of a sudden, I have, I'm about to lose a golden opportunity here, you know. Mm-hmm. Not every time somebody will come and propose. Propose, yeah. It will take a long time, you know. Mm-hmm. That's also by the time you finish and you are mm-hmm. done and somebody is there mm-hmm. and they still think you are what? Mm-hmm. I'm the one who followed him. Yes, I called him. I said, why did you disappear? 
He mm. said, no, 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 Sri Marizana, you said you are a career girl. Mm. He said, I said, no, I've decided I'm not a career woman. Mm. And he believed me. Mm. And he came back. Now, when he came back, after he got married, he sat me down. He's a funny character up to today. He, oh, he's, he's still the same. He's the same man. guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so he told me, when I walked away for three months, it's because you said that you're a career girl. Mm -hmm. And me, I wanted you because I wanted a career girl. Mm -hmm. From now on, now that you're in the box, you must follow your career. career. So mm -hmm. this thing of pushing me is, mm -hmm. is my mouth that put me. Say, you said you're a career girl. You Do must you follow part. through. Mm -hmm. Then I asked him, and when you disappeared, where did you go? He said, you know, I went looking for, I didn't find women, they were ready to abandon their careers to get married. Uh -huh. You, you are not ready. Mm -hmm. You are ready to abandon me. And I said, you are the one. Mm -hmm. But to take a box first, then when follow your career. career yako. So okay. that is how come. Mm -hmm. So people are different. Mm -hmm. uh, so I normally tell girls, be true to yourself. Mm. I realized I was about to lose somebody who is uh, authentic, and I was true to myself. I told him, even if I didn't mean, but I meant it that mm. time. Mm. I was ready to abandon this thing, mm -hmm. and then you know, your career. yeah. Mm. But he again told me, no, 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 no. I think you you don't have to. Mm. So he has been very supportive. That's okay. why he supports me because mm. he knew I was. I actually abandoned my career for him. For him. He told me, no, no, no. You're Follow still going to accomplish it. Yes. So